Gentlemen, you're here because you've proven you can't live amongst decent society. James Woods. They tell me you're the worst man in this penitentiary. He's a man who claims to have killed 21 people. Robert Sean Leonard. You the new man, Lesser? Yes, sir. Are you one of these reformers? God keeps evil men in his care, and he may use them as instruments of his vengeance. God didn't make these men. Our system did. In a true story. Anybody writes my story, it's gonna be me. Of two men. He is so intelligent. I'll make you a deal. You give me a paper and pencil, and I'll give you the story. Torn between an act of compassion. I trust you. And a life of crime. My name is Carl Panzram, number 31614. In my lifetime, I've killed 21 human beings, some of them no more than boys. Is it all true? Children? How could you? You have a mind, you have an intellect. Why don't you just give it back? Forget you ever saw it. Forget? How can I possibly forget? What I demand is justice. You created me. Now you kill me. He's pulling a con on us. His face was beaten to a pulp by guards. Are you defending this animal? What in the hell is going on here? What are you, this man's friend? The only way to keep you alive! I don't want to be alive! I want out of these clothes! I want out of this body! I want out of this world! They came to say goodbye to an old acquaintance. How disgusting. Beat this last wish, like baseball players do on television. Oh, you mean like this? But then one of them... I want a thousand dollars. It's my money. ...needed a friend. Stop acting like a wimp! Headless wimp! <laughs> Stop it! Who the hell do you think you are? Do you think that I want to spend the rest of my life cleaning up after you people until I'm old and wrinkled like you. I deserve better! We'd like to know what happened. You just collapsed. Something stinks here, Joseph. Something smells real bad. This is a classic scam. Who's invested all of their funds into Woody's company. If Woody dies, Scumface gets all the money. And that's when these new old friends decided it was time to kick some butt. We'll catch him with his pants down. All you gotta do is go in there and gather intelligence. Present diagnosis? Brain tumor, inoperable. Do you have a will? Oh my god. Is this one gonna die too? It's time for Rose to die. Whoa. She's gone. Oh, thank god. I, I mean that, it was so painless. You have no shame! You're disgusting! You people are making a serious mistake! It's Woody. Academy Award winner, Cloris Leachman. I'm brilliant. I'm a genius. Academy Award winner, Olympia Dukakis. <laughs> Corey Haim. Yes, yes, she's very happy. Very happy woman. Jan Rubisch. This detective work has got all my juices going. Jean Lapointe. When there's a will, there's a way. And Matt Craven. This is ridiculous! in a story that proves you're as young as you feel. Shakespeare, the writer. You knew him. Never too late. Wow, like how old are you? New York City, home of the legendary New York Knicks. Bailey, you gonna try something new tonight like trying to coach? But this season, oh, the Knicks suck. It is the NBA, buddy. No buttheads allowed, but you keep coming back. Then fate. Anyone who makes the free throw gets to be honorary coach for the second half. Lent them a hand. Look at that. She's good as gold. The fans love her. Hey, you with the dollar ninety nine rug on your head? Would you get out of my way, please? I found my new coach. Who is it? What's his name? Eddie. Nobody thought she could do it. You are out of the game. What are you doing? I'm rocking the ball. About damn time. Now, 
she's in their face. What is wrong with you? What you Helen Keller? On their case. Pass the ball. What are you, the black hole of basketball? You gonna let her call you a black hole? Not a hole, a black hole. What's a black hole? A black hole is a theoretical object in space. And finding out. She's got a lot of play. Bad shots, bad coach, bad hair. If her men have the equipment. You can't possibly be that stupid. To go all the way. Yo, hey, Stings, I went out with your mama last night. You don't want to hustle. You don't want to do anything. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Felton is a guy who lives by the rules. What's going on here, Soapy? Nothing much. Just a little game, pass the time. We're on a tight schedule here, guys. Come on, work with me. He lives each day, just like the day before. Hi, Dad. It's Al. Well, it's 9 o'clock on the button. I could almost set my watch by you. It's a joke, Al. <laughs> but today, Al Fountain will find something. I'm totally naked, except for two bleeding human eyeballs in my hands. And see something that will lead him on a journey. Life is a drive down the road. Al Fountain, June 30th, 9.55 a.m. Holy! To a destination just outside of reality. Wow! Where's the rest of your house? Oh, I only bought half. I get a really good deal. Throw that match at me? No, I didn't. I just threw it down. And somewhere between mystery... And I got a little box of moonlight. ...and fantasy... It's a fake. It's a statue. <laughs> Al Fountain may lose his mind. Ow! 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 All right now, boys. Come on up here. Yeah! And find himself... <laughs> this whole backward phenomenon of mine? I am trying to stop time. John Turturro... Life is a tomato right off the vine. Sam Rockwell. This country's being taken over by smart people with no common sense, and that's why I'm out here, man. Just me, my instincts. That's all you need. She's a redhead. She's either a cheerleader or a swimsuit model. Get the hell out of here. No, no, I'm sure you smell. Catherine Keener. I got a whole bunch of stories in my mind about a princess who can kill people just by looking at them. Lisa Blount. <laughs> Jesus, let me get a breath. Sorry. Dermot Mulroney. Anything going on? Any parties? <coughs> Y'all in a car wreck? No, we got jumped last night over at Bambi's. <laughs> were the sailors there? No, they were Marines. Five of them. From the director of Johnny Swade and Living in Oblivion. Each man can choose how he marches in the parade of life. How found Wednesday. July 4th, 105 p.m. Box of Moonlight, a film by Tom DeCillo. Well, wherever you're going, I hope to Christ you get there. <laughs>